I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Brixton Metals announced initial assay results from its maiden drill program at the Trapper Gold Target on its Thorn project, including 19.25 grams per ton gold over 11 meters within 139 meters of 2.14 grams per ton gold, all within 187.5 meters of 1.6 grams per ton gold. The 2,600-square-kilometre Thorn Project, located in northwestern British Columbia, at the northern tip of the Golden Triangle, approximately 90 kilometres northeast of Juneau, Alaska, is one of the company's four wholly-owned exploration projects. With an airstrip on the property, the project is easily accessible. In 2021, Brixton completed 15 shallow drill holes for a total of 3,107 metres, along with airborne magnetics and mobile MT geophysics. The company also conducted extensive soil and rock sampling. These results represent the first three shallow drill holes with pending assays to be released as they are made available. The Trapper Target, which is royalty-free, is one of the 14 copper, gold, silver exploration targets identified within the 80-kilometer mineralized trend at the Thorn Project. Drill holes THN 21185, 86 and 87 were drilled from the sample pad with HQ sized core. All assay values are uncut weighted averages and intervals reflect drilled intercept lengths as further drilling is required to determine the true widths of the mineralization. Christina Anstey, VP of Exploration, stated, The results from the first few holes into the trapper target are very encouraging. We believe that based on the geology, mineralization and alteration, we are in an epithermal to gold porphyry system with evidence for low sulfidation and high sulfidation overprints. We are excited to see some very high grades within broad low-grade intervals. We are seeing precious and base metal mineralization within both dominant lithologies in the area, but we believe that the diorite is the source of this mineralization. Hold THN 21186 intercepted this lithology and we are waiting on assays from several other holes that had broad intercepts of the diorite with associated visible gold. There is plenty of room for expansion of gold mineralization in drilling given the large footprint of the geochemical signature of the target which has been expanded to a 4 kilometer strike by up to 1.5 kilometers in width. Trapper forms the southern 4-kilometer portion of a 11-kilometer northwest-southeast trending gold geochemical anomaly. Visible gold has been identified in core, as shown here, from holes 21, 186 and 187 and surface outcrops, where rock grab samples returned up to 135 grams per tonne gold. Gary Thompson, Chairman and CEO, has joined us today with additional comments on this news. Welcome, Gary. Thank you, Cassandra. Wow. Well, this is what really good drill results look like. In fact, excellent, banging. However you want to put it, however you want to chop and change this drill result, these are excellent drill results. And we're pretty excited about this target because this was our first campaign uh, drilling here. And we think we're on to a gold-rich porphyry system, uh, which looks like it's one of several porphyry centers. So the Trapper is, a, is one, a gold, uh, gold porphyry at Trapper. We have the Camp Creek target, which is a copper, gold, silver, molly, uh, deep porphyry. And then we have the Metla porphyry. So the Metla is a copper, gold porphyry. So we're, we have a mineralized trend on the Thorn Project. It's about 80 kilometers long. And so we're pretty excited to, uh, to get, get back there and do some more drilling. One of the things that we did this year was we collected several samples for age dating, including the uh, Trapper target, the Camp Creek target, and the Metla target. And we have another one called the West Copper target. And it's going to be very interesting to see these, these age date results because if you look at a lot of the, the copper gold porphyry systems in British Columbia are Jurassic, Triassic age, but there's also a significant number of uh, Cretaceous age porphyries. Why that's important is, is because we believe that we're on a, a new emerging porphyry belt that has Cretaceous age porphyries as well as uh, Jurassic age porphyries. So it'll be very interesting to see these uh, age date results come out and with all the work that we've done this year, we're going to be planning a pretty aggressive uh, drill program for 2022. So I invite you to join us in our discovery at the Thorn Project for Brixton Metals. Thank you. Over to you, Cassandra.
Thank you, Gary. In addition to its flagship Thorn Copper Gold Silver project, the company owns the Atlin Goldfields project located in northwest British Columbia, the Langus Hud Bay Silver Cobalt project in Ontario, and the Hog Heaven Silver Gold Copper project in northwest Montana under a farm out option agreement to Ivanhoe Electric Incorporated. The shares are trading at 19 and a half cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, BrixtonMetals.com. Contact Gary R. Thompson, Chairman and CEO at 604-630-9707 or email info at BrixtonMetals.com. Investor Relations is handled by Mitchell Smith, VP Investor Relations, who can be reached at 604-630-9707 or by email at Mitchell.Smith at BrixtonMetals.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.